Hello and welcome everyone to my channel Code with Ease. Today we are going to discuss about another string problem, group anagrams. Now, when we talk of anagrams, uh, I already have another related video which I'm going to link it up above, uh, which is valid anagrams. So anagrams, uh, we have to first understand what, what anagrams means. As it is given in the definition that it is a word or phrase that is formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all original letters exactly once, which means in order to determine if a string is an anagram or not, we need a reference string to compare it with. So as we already have, uh, we are going to discuss about the problem statement in a bit, but first let us see one example of an anagram. So let's say we have a string called elbow and we have another string called below. You see this word elbow, if we rearrange the letters of this word, we are going to get this second word that is below. So these two we can say are anagrams of each other. So this is what our definition, uh, this is what our concept of an anagram is. Now coming to the problem statement, what we have to do is, we are given an array of strings. Here we have an array of strings and we have to group the anagrams together. You can return the answer in any order. So in a array of strings, we have to figure out which are the anagrams and then we have to group them in like one bucket sort of in another sub list and then we have to return the list of lists. So as in it's given in the example, NAT, NAT and TAN are anagrams to each other. 8, E, T are also anagrams to each other. So we have grouped all the anagrams together and then we have to return a list of grouped anagrams as the output. So that is what we have to do. Uh, talking of the approach to solve this, let us let us try to understand what can be the approach. So the approach for this could be something of so we know that in order to be an anagram, two words have to have same frequency of letters, which means if we have if we take these two words A T E and E A T, E is occurring once, A is also occurring once, and T is occurring once. So if the frequency is to be taken into account, we can take the we can have the concept of hash map because hash map is again key value. So we can keep a track of the uh, characters in that case, hash map. Then we can maybe try to do sorting because if, if we are to sort this word ATE in ascending order, we can write this as AET. And same with eat. So as we are talking of the frequency of the letter, why would sorting help is no matter how many anagrams we have, any anagram of a, of a given group will, if we sort that, uh, I mean any word of a given group, if we sort that, we have got the sorted version of that word will always be the same. So even if we have 10 or n number of words here, the sorted version of those words, if they have to be anagrams, they will always be the same. So, like for T also, if we try to sort, the same thing. E will come, A will come first and then followed by A, E and T. So, the common thing that we have found is, in order to group the anagrams, in order to uh, group these words together, we have to try and apply sorting algorithm on each word so that once we have the sorted version of that word then we can use that sorted version of the word to keep a track of whatever words that comes out of it which means we are going to do a reverse mapping using hash map so what we will do once we let's say we are uh, taking this word eat so eat on sorting we are able to get this word aet so, AET is the sorted version. Now, AET can be our key and these can be our values. In hash map, we can have only one key as a one, one unique key and values can be multiple. So, AET, the sorted version of the word basically can be the key and 
the related words, I mean, the words that comes out of it can be the values of the map. So this is going to be the basic approach. Number one, we have to use sort each word. And then we have to, on sorting, store the sorted version of the word as key and the corresponding original word original word as values as this value lastly return the values of hashman so that's the approach for us so let's start coding let me keep this so i already have the method signature uh, that i've taken from lead code so this is our method and this is the input to this okay so what's the first thing we have to sort each word now how do we get each word we have a string array so in order to get each word we first have to iterate through this array and then fetch each word out of it. So at first let's create our map in which the key is going to be type string and then we will have a list that's going to store our values. So we'll name this as map of anagrams. This is our hash map, and then we have to start traversing through our string array. So this is a string word traverse through this array. Okay, so now, now that we have each word to our disposal, what's the first thing we have to do? We have to use um we can use this inbuilt arrays dot sort method. So at first let's try to convert this word into a array. A character array. So let's say characters word dot image array, and then you can use arrays dot sort on this character array. Okay. So once we have sorted our uh, word, now we have to store this into our hash map. You have to use an if condition stating if the map of anagrams contains key uh, inverse of this, which means if it does not contain key, only then we are going to put. Them. So if it contains key in that, we are going to say, okay, uh, one more thing. Contains key will take a string, uh, but we have to convert this back into a string. We are going to say string sorted word is equal to new string. We are going to just reconstruct the string from this character array. And then we are going to check if this contains, if it doesn't contain the sorted word, then we are just going to simply put this that put the sorted word. Okay, so the idea is since we need to put a list of values over here, only if a certain word is not contained as a key of the map. During that point in time, only we should be creating a new list. So, when this if condition is true, only then we are going to create a new list of values. And then we can add the original word into this list that is our word. Once we have our list of values, then we can just Put this in the values of the map. So this wraps up the part where we have you know completed adding a word to a certain sublist. One more thing is as the return type states suggest that we have to return a list of list of strings. So list of string we understand that this is the values which we have just defined. We also have to return a list of list of string. So here we can define a list of list. 
which is going to be our final output. And then this list also we can initialize output dot. Into this we can add our values. So every time there is a new new entry that's being added. What is the first thing we are trying to create a first a new list of values? Into that we are adding the corresponding word, and then into the hash map we are adding the sorted word as the key and the values, which is the list, the sublist, and then this entire sublist we are just adding to the outer list, that is the output list. So this is all the steps that we have to do whenever we are having a new entry that's coming into our hash map. So that's fine. Like we have a new word and then we have added one other entry. What if, what if the word that we are we have obtained after sorting that word already exists? Which means when we have let's say we have come to this word eight when we have sorted, then we are again going to get the same thing eighty. So if eighty is already existing then what we should do we should ideally be appending that original word to the values list that we already have in the hash map so how do we do that so in the else condition what we have to do we have this map we have to do a dot get what is dot get it will take in the key so first we go to the our key what is our key the key is the sorted word so once we reached till the key we just have to Okay, when we do a dot get, what it does? It returns the value to which the key is mapped. So, when we have reached to the sorted word, which is our key, dot get on that will return us the value. So, it will point us to the values section, which means it will point us to this section. So, we just have to append our new word, the original word, to this. So, we can just write add and then we will add our word. So, in this way, we don't have to create a new list every time. We, we should not be creating a new list every time, right? We should only be creating this values list in the first occurrence, means when the key is being entered into the hash map for the first time. Further, further down the line, whenever a new uh, whenever a new sorted word is being encountered, we first go up to we first look up the key and then to the values list, we are just going to append the original word to it so that we keep on getting a list of values for a given sorted word. So that's the whole idea of adding this else condition. Now we have um, the logic more or less ready. We have the if log yeah. So now what's the next thing? We just have to return this list of list. So I'll just say return Let's try running this. Yeah, so as we can see, we are able to get the group anagrams together in the input. Let me try adding some more inputs, like I gave example of elbow. So let me try adding that word and the anagram of that below. So let's try running this. Yeah, so we have this new entry elbow and below into a sub bucket. So this is how we are going to solve this problem of group anagrams. I hope you all liked this video. Thank you so much for watching.